So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. All right, the Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Boy, you gotta stand out and take note. When you fight someone like that, so close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra. Augusto Tanquino Mendez, UFC veteran there, firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. And now, one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Suzuki. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. Well, never any great mystery when Sean O'Malley's in the octagon. The lettuce on the afro is flowing. As for the fight, though, O'Malley's been a pretty fast starter in the UFC. Let's see if he can continue that trend here tonight. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Out of range with that kick attempt. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that strike. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. His opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Beautiful kick lands there. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. Yet another nice leg kick there by O'Mell. Oh, you heard him again, bro. Effective strike there by Sean O'Malley. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. That can't feel good. Big land with the right for O'Malley. Big left hand lands upstairs. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. 
Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now. Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh! Big left hand. Oh! Big oh, good lead right by O'Malley. It won't take many of those. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Good right here. Oh, oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over, mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't, and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, here. and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that put you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, yeah. second round underway. Oh. There's the kick. It's blocked. Back to the jab now. No good. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice jab there by O'Malley. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Once you get take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Like that. Like that. Now he's got a good body position. Yep. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Well, he rocked him, but... Again. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally, he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, nasty. Another one. Fifteen seconds. So the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. 
We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's hard to believe. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Gets back to his feet. Stuffs the takedown without issue. And they shut it. He's wobbling now. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is a is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is... Oh! oh, my goodness! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number three. He played the winner by knockout, Suzuki. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I think the take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. 